right, let's play the whole thing here as always. Cool. And boing. <laughs> it's nice. My main thing is that um, Zed's looking a lot better. Um, I think there's some spots where it, 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 it pops. There's some pops and sudden stops. And then some spliny aspects, which uh, you are mentioning here in the email that you tend to make things soft and spliny. Now, this is something that's massively subjective, but I'm not sure that you want to bring out that arm that screen left one here so much at the very beginning. I don't know, there's something about this that feels slightly forced, but at the same time, you could argue it's just kind of like an offset as he walks. So, I mean, the only thing then I would probably say is that I will probably, there's a moment of almost stickiness here. You go back and then it sticks and then it goes forward. If you could just ease into that and out of that a bit more, Maybe that's how I'm reacting to that. I see this moving, but I see a little bit of a harsh hit. It's not super harsh, but it's still a bit there, and it just kind of catches my eye. And you ask to be picky, so I'm going to be picky on things like the knee as it comes forward. <clears throat> there are some moments where it travels, and then it sticks for a frame. You can see that line here, how it kind of locks. And then locks it out of that. See that pop forward. And even through here, it comes back and then boom, suddenly stops. That's notoriously difficult to do. Also, what I would do just a little bit <clears throat> is bring that foot out so it's not so straight, but it's a bit lower in frame there, the tip, mainly because when you get to here, it feels weirdly, you know, walk like an Egyptian type of thing. I feel like it would just be a bit more relaxed by bringing those the feet out a bit. Just because you're doubling down on the twinning when you got when you got this. So if at least here it's a bit more offset. But I will probably still as he swings forward, you know, and starts that little stop there. You can potentially just bring that arm a bit lower. What's the other one doing? Hold on. Before I give you stupid notes here. I mean, the screen left one could be swinging more. Well, you haven't come up. I don't want to ruin that, but. I mean, what I would do is I would just probably bring this. I would try to, to bring this down a bit lower so that. You can have this here, so it's just a bigger contrast and not so. I'm just a bit worried about that twinning aspect. And I will probably delay that move up as well. So that when we stop, we really want to look at that face. And then now I'm te I'm tempted to look down here and I miss that moment of ooh and then this. So I will keep that really on a more of a subtle moving hold. And speaking of um sticky things if you watch any line here on the face he goes forward and then bam just for a moment there right there it starts to stick and it's almost like a pivot through the forehead especially through here you can see that you're countering backwards with the chest and the head so that we're really pivoting off the head and then he goes forward a bit and then stops and goes straight down and i think that's something that i'm seeing a bit all over in the shot it's super tricky it's one of the painful things to to fix once you're in polish um, but since you've asked to uh, rip this apart, <laughs> this is what happens when I when I frame through things. Now, um, as a caveat to uh, everybody listening and uh, to you as well, I mean, you know, I watch this and I feel those little bumps and hiccups, but I'm still watching the performance and it's still a lot of fun. And probably the biggest thing that stands out is this moment here. You can see that pop. If you look at the chest and the head, bam! right there that's a pop and you can see this in the spacing of his of his ear the ear is here let me just do some crazy onion skinning here if i just go by the ear bam pops here and then it's like an immediate stop and maybe 
maybe red is not the best color because I am clearly not the smartest here in this lonely office in the morning. All right, let's do this again with yellow. And then you can see, it fades out a bit quickly, but you can see this here. You can see that this happens, it's very straight, and then a pop, and then that's on stop here. So when I watch this, when I watch this for the first time, that's what I felt is the big pop. And then some moments like here when it kind of moves over and stops, but then his hips have kind of the kind of a fairly separate moving hold. So to me, that's the stuff that I noticed. So when I go through here, let's go back and I say, ooh, watch out, little sticky frame on the head here. I feel it, but it's not like it stands out massively. So the reason why I'm saying is all this because once you start framing through things, you, you see all kinds of things that might need fixes. But as a general, you know, like a general audience might never see this. These are just the picky things that if you really get into it, you can you can look at those things. But generally, like if, if, if you have only three things to fix because of time constraints, to me, it's just that pop. That really just stands out. Like I wasn't sure if this was my player or something happened. You can see also that IK arm where it's almost overextended, uh, the wrist feels a bit broken and then it pops up. But then from here it goes straight down and it has just the IK feel of the body's moving but then this is kind of stuck in space. So to me this is the biggest moment through throughout the shot but that kind of needs fixing. Even something like this here where I feel like there's so much movement here and I see a little bit of pixels moving in Y and a little bit of rotation but I feel like on such a big chest move that I would have a slight bigger rotation in Y but then also a bit of a translate and then a bit of a movement forward in the hips so it doesn't feel so completely cut off even through here it just all feels a bit too separate between those two areas I mean the end is all cool and I like all this and I like the slide I think the timing's good I think the super picky but i feel like that glove stops a bit on the dime there Boop, right there i think you can have a little bit more of a softer ease in since we're establishing that this has a very soft that unless you make this harsher and it's you know it's a bit harsher in its mechanics but i feel like because it's so soft here that you can ease into that stop a bit more and if you look at the second one see the second one has it Doing, 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 has a little bit of a stop and then the the down. You might argue that this stop is a bit harsh. It's almost like you're holding this for two frames, but then it softens into a stop there, which is good. So picky, picky notes. Since you asked for it, we'll probably do it here as well. But going back, going back to this here, and you mentioned you're gonna do some more uh, takes here on the on the finger, on the fingers. See, I think when you play it in real time, the screen right arm seems okay. But then when you frame through it, it feels a bit... Like, to me, you want to... I would even sacrificing the silhouette, just turn that, <clears throat> that wrist down a bit more so it, it's not, you know, more this way versus this way. It feels, just feels <coughs> a bit broken there. And I know you're dragging a lot, but there's just something where... From here to here, it has that IK feel again because the orientation of the wrist is fairly similar, especially from here to here. And we we'll just kind of smooth that out a bit more. And then there's something about this kind of staying in the same line, like you moving over from here to here, but then it's straight up and then and then kind of the the end the, the ankle, the wrist stays almost in the same position. I know it's up here, but there's something just visually that stays kind of put and pivots off here. And it suddenly pops over here. And I know, again, this in real time feels better, but maybe you can smooth that out, bring that arm over here. So then keep that here. And then maybe have that one a bit further out. And then this arm already a bit further out. And then you can stay here. I thought my drawings are great, but something that feels maybe a bit smoother. But again, like in real time, it didn't really didn't feel that bad the only thing I would say if, if I watch this there's a bit of a long drag 
if I pay attention to it, his wrist feels like it's it's low for quite some time. And I think it's okay for a drag, but by now you can probably bring it higher. So I'm gonna say, actually, don't do what I say, bring it down here. I would just start picking it higher. Like, don't do such a massive uh, drag, and then that way you can have it high here for a nicer silhouette, and then it's already high here. So I'm gonna say disregard my previous note. I'm gonna do that. Even here, it feels like once you hit this pose, we're staying in this for quite some time. You can see how there's an orientation change in the forearm, but it's minimal. Especially through here, we're holding, holding, holding. And if you watch this in real time, once you start paying attention to it, that screen left arm starts to float. Like you're, you're really actively trying to hold that and glide that pose down. Versus someone that goes, holy crap, and then there will be bigger swings in his arms and a bit more panic. And then watch out spacing wise. This one's a bit harsh here. You go from here to here. Let's go here to this, to that, to here, right? And then you stop here. That's my main thing. So I'm not super accurate on my drawings here, but bam, you can see that arm, such a swing. And then suddenly here we stop where and actually you stop but you go in with your elbow and then you come back out giving this a bit of a pop to me if you do such a swing that arm will be back here and the chest turn over to to you know that arm is gonna swing over there and pull that chest over i would finish that swing and the other one is not as harsh because you you're hanging on this for so long but since I would fix this a little bit, even through here, we're hanging in this area for quite some time. So it feels like you want to do bigger swings or, you know, even here. I mean, I think it would be okay to even back here. The chest would be turned over maybe a bit higher. You know, one arm can be back here, but even the other arm, I don't know, that might be probably too much, but imagine the arm is back here and he's just fully going like, whoa, like, like the whole body feels like it's going this way, trying to stay away from this and then you can swing back up here into this just as a thought I mean I'm saying all this but you might put that in there and then it might feel too extreme but I think what might be helpful is that with all the swinging they would swing back through here and give him just a bit more life because once you're here it's almost like he gets and he wants to get back into a more relaxed pose where I feel like, well, he would be just slightly a bit more, whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? Oh, ah, you know, have a bit more active panic. I feels like he's a bit too, hmm, what was this here? Just a bit too relaxed, a bit too soon. And this is just tiny, tiny stuff, I think, by, by giving his arms a bit more to do. Speaking of arms, that arm kind of pops, pops to the right and then kind of, the spacing is very small and it comes back up and then here it drags a bit too much that's your ik arm probably i'm assuming it's ik it just feels very ik and especially through here where it's just kind of resting not much going on while the rest is moving a lot this just feels like it's hanging in place because of an ik arm as i'm framing through this gets a bit better here watch out i feel like there's a bit too much of your arm pull vector coming out giving this movement Oh, that elbow a bit too much attention there. And then spacing wise again here, arm goes here, 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 here. And once you're here, bam, it changes direction right away. So I'll overshoot that if you want and clean your arc a bit. But the tricky thing is you're having a lot of very deliberate drags on your hands like making this, trying to make this smooth visually, but then your pops in your arms kind of break that. But then you also have that sudden pop in your wrist up and then pop, the arm suddenly pops down into two big moves here. That's a big, big step there in his arm. But then from here to here, it feels like it eases into it a bit too fa uh, too quickly. Because you gotta, you gotta imagine that so much momentum cannot suddenly go away. That's why when you watch this in real time, that arm there pow, pops, 
pops down really fast through here and then stops a bit too quickly and goes up this way versus a bit slower with a bit of an arc like that. Of course, the danger is always to make this all a bit too arky and, and smooth, but... But arcs, if you look at this here, I'm really focusing on arms a bit much here, but it just stands out a bit where the arm goes up and then these guys, this guy goes down here and then this guy, they feel very straight in their path. Again, giving me a bit of an IK feel. And then probably... What is he doing here? He goes up and then brings it down. So I know he turns away, but you can probably keep that elbow out just a bit more to see part of that wrist. Um, just because now if you do your squint test for silhouette, all I see is an elbow stump. So even through here, I think the silhouette could be a bit nicer. Even this is a bit better, even though you're pushing it here, but at least it gives us an, incli an inclination of, of the break and a bit of the wrist. And this is for everybody listening. You don't really want to bend your arm away or towards the camera like this. Meaning, on your bend on your arm, I would always have a bit of a, either an under or upper bend like this. So that we understand the length of the arm. This gets a bit, like, I don't know how long this arm is, if you can silhouette wise. Versus here, we understand a bit better. And always doing something like this, we get it a bit better. And obviously anything like that, it's very clear how long that arm is, but just a little bit of a silhouette thing on, on elbows. But then that arm suddenly goes whoop, goes really fast down and then locks again. Even through here, you can see how much movement there is here in the forearm. Especially through this, you can see how that elbow goes forward while the wrist is completely locked. Giving again this, this IK feel, which I understand, I would make this IK as well. But you're just going to have to lock the fingers a little bit of ambient movement, but rotate that wrist up with that forearm a bit more. So that's my my picky view on, on arms. Now I don't know if I want to go, you know, further. I think I think I hope you get my point. Um, that's like my, my picky view on on things on spacing. But I understand that it's tricky to see. Like, it's easier for me to look at this and comment on this than if I would animate this. I would probably make all the same mistakes because. You're so into this, and as you're as you're writing, it's been it's hard to see the problems when you work on something for so long. And I 100% agree. It's tricky. Even this head here, right? As you go over, and it lands, there's this sudden drop, but then, bam! Here it hits that invisible wall. When you look at the chin, the chin is here, and here. Let's do my thing here. Kind of yellow is the best color. What? be good here let's go with green can i see green in front of that white here right and then that chin is here bam that's your one frame direction change right there Bam! and that feels like well there's there's a table or something where it hits that chin um let's go back to some i was kind of like so i would watch out you can argue this is a sudden acceleration because of the root stopping stops momentum going down and the rest still has to follow through and there's still momentum there i get that but if you do that then you gotta lower that chin right come back up and not suddenly stop it so watch out for that and again this to me seems like the the general thing of this shot which is still awesome it's just now you're in that in that cleanup phase and things like this where you got that very distinct hip hit move up while the rest is kind of like he would do like whoa and stop but not have that such of a visible moving hold and it's also i don't know if that's enveloping or just a perspective thing but like his left butt cheek seems like it's this big and once you go up it feels like it scales down which again that could be just an enveloping thing but it feels like that seam here of this shirt doesn't go as much in your hip rotation but his pelvis but here starts to shrink. So that plus the added softness of that hold stands out a bit. This is fine. I would probably, it's a tricky thing. If you flatten this, it's going to look like your Achilles heel is going to pop. It gives you a little bit of an offset. I think it's okay. You think that, you know, with this, everything will be compressed. And maybe on that frame, it's okay to be that compressed. Because it's your compression frame where we can com completely break that Achilles heel. That's my, that'll be my only thing. This seems a bit... 
even though this is fast, this I would still bring up the root a little bit. This seems a bit too separated. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Mm, got stuff going on in the background here. It's very loud. So it's perfect timing for me to end. This is a long critique anyway. Um, and I think I made my point about all the frame by frame. But let me know if you have any questions. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.